Hey everybody and welcome back. Certainly glad you could join me today. In this video we're going to look at the basics of rigging. Before I get started, a huge thank you to everybody who subscribed and hit the notification icon. It's incredibly useful to me to be able to see how many people are interested in viewing my content and also it helps me out a great deal. Also a massive thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon or who has become a member on here. Your names will be running across the bottom of the screen. If you're interested in supporting the channel, feel free to visit the Patreon link in the description below, or you can join on the channel by hitting the join button next to the subscribe button. Let's jump right into this then. So we're going to use our sample Minecraft scene as our example for this. And in order to do that, we need to create an object that will require some rigging. And the first thing that comes to my mind is obviously a door. So we're going to start with an empty scene because we want to create this is a scene subset as well. And we're going to create a primitive by clicking on the object at the top that looks like three shapes squished together. And in the window that appears, we're going to make sure it says cube and our size needs to be one meter and our divisions also needs to be one. Now we're going to make some adjustments to the shape because obviously it's not a door shaped. So what we're going to do is we're going to come into our parameters tab and we're going to select our cube. Now in our X scale, we're going to leave it as, as it is because we want it to be one meter wide. In the Y scale, we're going to type 200 because we want it to be two meters tall. And in the Z scale, we only want it to be about five centimeters in depth. So we're going to change that to 5%. Now we have a door just need to apply some textures to it now. So what we want to do is we need to assign one of the faces to be the back. Otherwise, it's going to look very weird when the door opens and closes. So we're going to select our geometry editor tool by clicking on this checkerboard icon with a pencil hovering over it. And we're going to select the back face. We're going to right click and on the on geometry assignment, we're going to create surface from selected. And we're just going to call this back and we'll hit accept now we come to our surfaces tab we should have default and back what we're going to do is we're going to apply our textures to it now you have to pre-prepare these because the minecraft vanilla textures come in two separate halves so you're going to have to use photoshop or an image editing software to glue those two textures together once you've done that come back to this video okay so now you should be at the same stage as i am where you have the door and it's got an alpha mask on it so that you can see through the windows and it is basically good to go. So the next thing that we want to do is we need to name this so that it's actually named door, like so. And then what we want to do is we actually need to turn this into a figure. So we're going to go to our edit object rigging convert prop to figure and then we're going to change the triax weight mapping to the general weight mapping like so and what you'll notice has happened is that our shape has reverted back to a cube so we need to quickly put that back to our values 200 percent and five percent there and it'll come back to the shape that it's supposed to be so the next thing we want to do is we want to select all of our faces here using the geometry editor tool. So we're going to go to our geometry editor tool again. We're going to keep the selection on polygon selection and change to a marquee selection. We're going to select the whole thing like that. And we're going to bring up our tool settings like so, so that we can see that. And then we're just going to create a face group from selected like that and then we're just going to call it door like that so the next thing we want to do is we need to actually add a bone to this so we're going to change to our joint editor and we're going to select the bone here like so and then in this icon in the top right hand corner of the tool settings drop down menu here we're going to create and we're going to create a child bone 
and we're simply going to call this one door bone as well like so and we're just going to check that the rotation order is identical to the one up in the joint editor so we've got yxz here so we need to change it to yxz there so we click on ok as you can see our new bone has appeared but it is definitely in the wrong place so what we need to do is we're going to move the red one down so that it is in line with the top and then we're going to move it across so that it's there like so in line with the corner the top corner and then we're going to move our y down like this so that it's in line with the bottom of the door and we're going to move it across like that and we're going to actually move this across to the axis of the door like this so that's where the door hinge is there like so and now that we've done that we can actually look at our joint editor tool up here and we can see where our points are so we've got the end point which is more or less in the same place but we can actually make this accurate to a letter we can say minus 50 there like that and then we can say that that is 100 there like that and then that puts it bang on in the center of that dot and then obviously we can fix this as well so that one's going to be minus 50 there and that one's going to be zero there so now we've got our bone positions exactly right the next thing we want to do is make sure that we assign this bone to the correct selection group so we're going to come to the top here and we're just going to change the face group from none to door or door bone there we go like that and then that will sit up there like that the next thing we want to do is assign a weight map to this selection so what we want to do is come back into our geometry editor and make sure that we have that whole face group selected and then we're going to come into the node weight map brush like so and then in general weights we're going to select that like so now this is a hard object so there's not going to be any kind of weight mapping all we want to do is right click and then in weight map editing we're going to say fill selected with 100% like that and now that we've done that we can just click off of that quite simple we're on the move tool now and then when we click on bearing in mind that we're on Y, X, Z rotate. So we use the Y rotate. And as you can see, we can spin the door on the correct axis like that, which is awesome. So that's now rigged. That's ready to go. So we can now save that as a scene subset in our content library. So we're going to make sure we've got the door selected. And then we're going to save it as a scene subset like so. And I'm just going to overwrite my previous door like that. Marvellous. Now, if we want to open and close the door, we can just spin it round on those axes like that by collecting the door bone. But that's basically textured and ready to add to our scene. And it's now rigged. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.